What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'm back with another video on setting up and using Minecraft servers. In my previous few videos on this topic, I talked about jar files possibly not working when you double click on them or set up a server.bat etc etc, you open it and absolutely nothing happens. In the videos I touched on installing Java which we'll go through again today, but there are a couple of other fixes to get these to work. So I'm assuming that you have some sort of server or something you want to do and you run whatever start.bat file or anything. If you open it up and instead of showing the server starting, it skips to something like this where it just says pause or file just closes straight away. And that means that there's some sort of issue with your jar file. Now, usually if you were to zoom in, you'd see a little Java icon. And if you were to right click on it, open with, you should see Java TM platform SE binary or something along those lines here. What you can do to fix jar files if they're not showing this icon or they're not working at all is number one, make sure that you have a Java installed and make sure it's the correct version. So head across to the first link in the description down below and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Java downloads, all operating systems, recommended version eight, update 231 or something along those lines. Obviously that'll change sometime during the future. If you scroll down, you'll find Windows, Mac and Linux. Obviously I'm on Windows, so I'll be downloading both the Windows offline and Windows 64 bit. If you're running a 32 bit PC, all you need is the Windows offline one. And if you're running a 64 bit PC, all you need is the 64 bit one. However, you can download and install both just to make sure that everything is compatible if you're on a 64 bit PC. So usually I'll control click on the first one, control click on the second one, and two EXEs will download. All you have to do is click on the first one to open it and hit yes when prompted for admin. Then all you need to do is hit install and wait for this to finish. Then you may see something like this talking about out of date Java versions. All you need to do is hit uninstall in the far right and it will get rid of the old outdated versions. Then hit next and you'll see this, you successfully installed Java. Hit close. If you downloaded both of them, like I mentioned previously, now is when you'd go ahead and run through the exact same process with the other one you downloaded. So again, 64 bit, you need 64 bit, 32 bit, you need 32 bit. And if you're on 64 bit, you can choose to have both of them if you so wish for extra compatibility, just to make sure that everything works. Anyways, once you've done that, you can head back to your jar file, right click, open with, and check to see if Java is suggested there. If it's not, then that may mean that something else has taken the ability to open .jars. Luckily, there's another piece of software created that's linked down in the description below called Jarfix. Currently, it's 3.0.0. All you need to do is head across to this page and you see the solution. You can fix this problem very easily with the small but reliable Jarfix program. All you need to do is simply click on this jarfix.exe button with the little animated download icon next to it. Once the file's downloaded, simply head across to where it's saved. Mine saved into this folder over over here. So all you need to do is click on Jarfix, right click, run as administrator and hit yes when asked for admin. Then you'll see Jarfix v3.0.0, the jar suffix has successfully been registered and can be executed by a double click. Jarfix has been run under an administrator account. If the problem still persists for a user, please run Jarfix also under the user account. So simply hit OK and you can close out of your downloads folder as well as the page that we downloaded it from. Then you should hopefully see the Java icon on top of your .jar. If you right click, open with, you should hopefully have the Java platform SE binary over here. At this point, you can go ahead and run whatever command or file you did to try and get the uh, .jar to work in the first place, which for me is start.bat. If I double click on it, I get an error that's similar to this. Error occurred during initialization of VM, could not reserve enough space object heap. So I'll simply open it up, open up the start.bat, and I'll go ahead and give it some more RAM. Save, close, and run it again. Now you can see invalid heap size of four gigs. The specified size exceeds the maximum representable size. Error could not create the Java virtual machine. A fatal exception has occurred. Program will exit. What does this mean? Well, it means that we're trying to give the program more RAM than it can actually take. You may have way more RAM than you're giving to the program available. Why is it not working? Well, if you want to give any program more than three gigabytes of RAM, you need to make sure that your computer is 64 bit and you have Java 64 bit installed. Because I installed the 32 bit and downloaded the 64 bit, I'll go ahead and start up the installer for the 64 bit now. I'll hit install and wait for this to run through. Now that it's done, I can hit close and I can start up the dot bat. And as you can see, the server is working as expected. However, this one isn't, it says that it's outdated. However, if it was updated right now, your server would be starting up, the game would be starting or whatever you're trying to start with a .jar file extension. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.